I believe in God. I believe in the Bible. I'm a Christian. I'm, I, you know, I have a lot of reasons. I love, I love people. And our country needs a savior right now, and our country has a savior. And that's not me. That's somebody much higher up than me. Much higher up. We just do what we have to do. But the life and death and resurrection of Jesus Christ forever changed the world. It's impossible to think of the life of our own country without the influence of his example and of his teachings. Our miraculous founding, overcoming civil war, and uh, the United States ultimately becoming a truly great nation. And we're going to keep it that way. We're going to keep it that way. We're not going to let it go. I'm not going to let it go. But none of this could have ever happened without Jesus Christ and his followers and his church. None of it. And we have to remember that Jesus Christ is the ultimate source of our strength and of our hope. Let us thank Almighty God for our nation, for our precious freedoms. And our most of all, and I have to say this for the gift of God's everlasting mercy and grace, we ask God to bless our nation and our people with faith and hope and love and peace. So even Trump said himself that we have a savior. And he also said that savior is not him, it's Jesus Christ. Now look, you can hate him all you want to, but there is no other person in his position saying things like that. There isn't right now, nor has there ever been a president talking about Jesus Christ the way that Trump is talking about him. And if you are a Christian and you can't see that, that's pretty scary. You know why it's scary? Because that would mean you're acting off of what you think about this man. And if the Lord acted out of what he thought about your past, you'd never be forgiven. Trump could repent yesterday, today, tomorrow, and come into his process and begin walking to become a new creation in Christ. And those who are truly Christian should see things like that. And when you don't, that's terrifying. Never have I seen anyone in this man's position talking the way he talks about Jesus. Is he perfect? Far from perfect. But can the Lord be using him? Most definitely. And if the Lord is using him, and you are coming against him, you are coming against God. I truly pray you understand that. If the Lord is using somebody, whether you like them or not, and you come against them, you are coming against God. Pray, my brothers and sisters, pray you come into understanding, and may the Lord reveal to you what hasn't been revealed yet. Amen. God bless. Shalom.